Hello everybody. Welcome to my tutorial on making a custom nation. As you can see here, I already have many custom nations built based off the United States uh, states. I have California, Oregon, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, all that. Um, this tutorial will teach you how to make these type of countries. Of course, these are states, but they are still considered independent countries that I could play as. In fact, I am playing as Wisconsin right now, a custom country I made. Depending on the skill of the user, depending on the skill of the user, Making a new country should take only about uh, probably 15 minutes if you understand what you're doing. If not, I would expect this could take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. But it's actually a very simple task. You just gotta follow these uh, instructions carefully. It is, this video may appear long. However, the process to making a country is not very long, as I have said. It is simply the matter of fact that I am probably going to give very detailed instructions that will make this video longer, so do not be alarmed by the length of this video. It is much easier making a country than you may think. For this tutorial, we are going to be making a custom country of Michigan. To start off, you want to grab uh, the provinces of to create the border of your new country. So to do this, we're going to first record everything here. So we have Grand Rapids, Detroit, Saginaw, Traverse City, and Marquette. You should write all this down because we, will be, we uh, will be using it later when we are assigning provinces to the custom country, but that's for a later point in the tutorial. The easiest method of doing this would simply be to record the names of the provinces, as I have done here. There is a, another way to do it that actually is more recommended, and I will show you how to do that. The more recommended way to gather the provinces you need, or record them, is while you can just read the names and search up the names of these provinces, sometimes that does not work well, because keep in mind there are multiple spring fields in the United States. So searching up Springfield in the United States folder might give you multiple Springfields and you won't know which one. So in this example, what you should do is open up the console using the radio, and you should type show province ID. If entered correctly, it will say province ID is now shown in tooltip. Now when you hover over provinces, you'll see under the uh, pop-up that shows up to the bottom right there, it'll show the number of the province. So this is 174, 173, 175, 176, and 177. I personally recommend recording your provinces by numbers, because that's the easiest way to do it. Now we get on to creating the country itself. To start, we will go to... Well, I have it uh, pinned here, but we'll, we'll, um, okay. You're going to want to go to your, I'm presuming your C drive, program files, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Victoria 2. I highly recommend creating a mod folder for this. If somebody wants a tutorial on setting one of these up, it's very simple. I will do that upon request. Uh, for this situation, I already have a mod folder called ACW for American Civil War. We will go in there. And the very first part to this I recommend is going to common. When first creating a country, uh, naturally, we are going to go inside the countries folder. Here are all the countries in the game, all of them. Some. We're going to work off, since we're doing Michigan, we're going to work off of another United States state. So I'm going to work off of Wisconsin. And looking in Notepad, here's what the file looks like. 
You got graphical culture that determines what the sprites will look like. This is the color of the country. This code here, proletarian dictatorship equals, uh, this is a special piece of code. This determines what color the country is if it becomes a communist dictatorship. So in this example, if Wisconsin were to become communist for some reason, their country, their state would turn gray. In this, the regular color, they are blue. These, um, I'll explain what these are later. These determine the, uh, what the parties are. So this is actually a Wisconsin file. This is a work off of the California text file before. So that's why it says Cal liberal, because it means California liberal. So this is where you would, um, create the parties for your custom country, but Personally, I don't think this needs to be changed simply because, you know, most liberal parties support this. Most conservative parties will support that stuff, blah, blah, blah. So these are parties. Down here, unit names. These are the names units will receive by random when you create them. So uh, for Wisconsin, I have to, you know, I have to customize this still. Um, if I were to build an ironclad... If I were to build an ironclad as Wisconsin, it might be a ship might come out being called John Fremont, the Bear and Star, William I, San Francisco, Los Angeles. So that none of that makes sense. This is very simple. If you wanted to change some things around, for example, here I'll so instead of John Fremont, I'll change it so it's Madison there. Save. So now if Wisconsin were to build an ironclad, there's a chance the ironclad will be named Madison. So anyways, back to this. We are going to copy Wisconsin, do this, and we'll rename it to Michigan. All right, now we edit that in Notepad. Okay, so what I have here is, with graphical culture, I have it set already so Michigan gets the uh, default United States sprite, so they'll look like Union soldiers in the game. Uh, we're gonna, I'm just going to leave all this as it is, everything below. I'm only going to care about these three lines of codes for now, and really that's all that you need to care about. So first, let's just quickly uh, change the color. <laughs> this is an RB, uh, RGB, so we're going to just go on RB, RGB Color Picker. This is a nice uh, website, especially for creating countries. Uh, we are... Let's make Michigan this shade of blue. 73, 84, 230. So now we're going to pull this back up. And we are going to enter that. 73, 84, 230. So now with this code in, RGB uh, value in, Michigan, Michigan will appear to be this shade of blue. Now uh, for proletarian dictatorship, we're just going to go to gray. 158, 158, 158, that's fine. And note that proletarian dictatorship here, this is optional. In all honesty, this right here is all you need. But in my situation, I need a uh, communist color as well. So there we go, save, and that is done. That is all you need to do as far as this goes. Next, we are going to create the three-letter tag for our country. That is under still common. This time, we are going to edit countries.txt. So here we have all the countries again, except this is where we determine the location of the txt and the three-letter tag, which we are about to create. So it should be categorized already. We have Scandinavia, Western Europe, Germany. We're going to find... Uh, well, all right, so here's the list of North American countries. We are just going to, I guess, copy Wisconsin and replace it. So for Michigan, we will do M-I-C. That'll be its unique tag. But first, check to make sure M-I-C isn't already being used. Nope, it's good. If it's not being used by another country, then that is valid. You can use that. And then lastly, we change this to Michigan TXT. 
And this, this piece of code here, this points us back to this folder. That's just telling the system that it needs to look here and take this file. So basically, all you need to enter here is whatever you have over here. All right, the last thing we're going to do in the common folder is country colors. Now, actually, I don't need to do this for a reason I'll explain in a moment, but most likely you will. So here, right away, um, this is determining the color of your soldiers. I, I don't remember what order this is in. Usually, as you can see, I just use the same for everything to make one solid colored soldier. Um, so we'll just copy this. And type Michigan. This right here doesn't matter what you type. This is actually a comment. You, you could type anything. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, so now we have to type the tag we gave it. So MIC for Michigan. And then we just determine what colors the soldier would be. So, I mean, I guess I would, for a Union soldier, I would probably like, uh, probably like this, 6975, 163. Now, you can mix these three up. It's just that I don't remember what order. One, one is the, um, I believe, hat, one is the torso, and one is the leggings. I don't really care. I just make everything blue. And I guess for a Civil War mod, you would want to do what I'm doing here, because Union soldiers and Confederate soldiers alike wore, to an extent, the same line of clothing. So this is all you would need to do. This would um, determine the colors of your units. In my case, however, I am not going to do this. Now, you, if this is... Well, okay. I'm not doing this for a reason, and it's because if I did that, it would actually crash the game, and I'll show you why. The only reason you would want to do that color is if you have a generic unit type. Let's look at an example, like, uh, okay, let's go to Germany. See how their graphical culture type is Prussian GC. That's a very specific type of sprite. It's called Prussian GC. That means Germany Germany gets the unit types that wear the pickle haube helmets and the fancy pants uniforms and the Wehrmacht uniforms down the road. You can't change the color of that. It will not work. Well, let's look at, uh, well, okay, and in Michigan's case, as you know, we have US GC. So that's specifically the United States sprites, which Paradox Interactive made unique. But let's look at an example uh, like uh, Ruthenia. Generic. So this is generic. It's just regular, just a regular uniform. It's not anything special. If you make your country have a generic culture, graphical culture, then you want to assign it colors, like who I was just showing you back there. But if it's anything else, then no. There is one more example, though. Let's go to... Uh, Korea. I do believe Asian GC, I believe that can be colored as well. It's If it sounds too specific, I believe you do not assign colors. But aside from that, that's all you gotta do is put country colors. Now we are done with the common folder and we move down into a more fun part. We're going to go into the GFX folder, and I'd say we're probably 33% done. Uh, we're going to go into GFX, flags, and as you can see, we have the flags of every country. Now what you're going to want to do, I have a new folder here. You can do this as two if you want. This is kind of like my workbench here. Inside here, nothing inside of this folder actually pertains to the game necessarily it doesn't if the game doesn't read this folder inside here I have the five basic flags your country needs five flags it needs well here's these are all Wisconsin flags so as, as an example we have the regular Wisconsin flag which is just called WIS then we have WIS underscore communist this is the communist flag got fascist monarchy Republic. 
you can just um, use the same flag for all of them, but if you want a truly unique if you want a truly unique looking country, then you're gonna wanna give them unique stuff. Alright, so now we are uh, going to open this. I have Adobe Photoshop, but you can use essentially anything that can save in TGA format, but it has to be TGA. So here we have what was the Wisconsin flag, but note that I did rename all the flags to MIC. And I've already saved us the trouble of searching for a Michigan flag because I needed a uh, specific one from Civil War era. So we are just going to resize it. Alright. That's good as long as it fits. Uh, what I recommend doing though, I mean, maybe it's not a problem. It's very hard to see probably, but there are kind of bright lines on each side. I recommend just trying to take those out. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to grab the border of this flag. Pick a color. I'm just gonna... there. There, now it's a solid blue flag. We are going to save this. Um, and as I said, you have to save it as Targa slash TJA. And save. And just like that, that's all you need to do. You have your new flag. And once you launch the game, your new country will have its flag. Do this for all the other countries, and yes, you could just use that same flag for everything else. Nobody says you can't. Um, but if you want the greatest experience, I recommend designing communist, fascist, monarchy, and republic flag as well. Alright, if you've made it this far, congratulations, because you are very close to done already. Next, we are going to go down to the history folder. And we have a few things we'll do, or at least I have to do. But first, we'll go to the most important one that's likely pertaining to you, and that is countries. So here, again, just kind of like the other uh, countries folder in common, we have all the countries. And just like last time, let's copy Wisconsin. And we will do MIC, tag for Michigan. And then Michigan. And make sure you spell everything right, or else you're going to have a lot of frustrations. I have notepad. Now this one's a little more... Um, a little more complex than the last file. So first of all, you have your capital here. Um, for me, I'm going to... This, this doesn't matter, this is another comment. So 84, this means province 84 is the capital of this country. Um, I don't need, this actually isn't too important. If you put down a number that your country does not own, the capital will by default just go to the best province you own. So in Michigan's case, uh, I'm going to guess the capital would be Detroit. Uh, I don't actually have Detroit's... No, no, stop being lazy. Okay. Here's what we do. History Provinces USA Detroit 173. Okay. I'll try not to be lazy. Um, What was it? Wait, wait. 173. Sorry. Alright, so we'll put 173. So Detroit will be the capital. Except I don't know if that's the capital. You know, it just be safe. Screw it. Um, primary culture, respectively, since it's in the north, is going to be Yankee. And uh, culture... I've never quite understood this. I guess when it says culture, they mean more like secondary culture. So I would say Dixie for Southerners. Or maybe you would put like Canadian or something. I, I don't know. Uh, religion, pro Protestant, uh, sure. Government, democracy. Uh, if you were looking to make something like a Soviet country, though, then you want to type something along the lines of proletarian dictatorship. That would create a Soviet country, but in this case, or or you could do fascist dictatorship. In this case, though, we're doing democracy. 
plurality. I, uh, that would take me a while explaining, so I'm actually not very knowledgeable on that yet. Um, I'll see uh, if I can remember, though. I'll put that in the comments. National value. There are three national values in the game for democracy. You do liberty. I believe there is envy, equality, liberty, and maybe state. There's three. Um, literacy. I probably should make this higher, but um, 0 0.50, that, that's pretty low. You know, I, I think a more better average would at least be, for Michigan, probably 40, but 0 0.50 I'll go. And civilized, this determines if it's a tribe kind of country that needs the westernized still. But in this case, we will do yes. And then you have your political reforms. Since it's a northern state in the Civil War, we want no slavery. State equal weight. Universal weighted voting. Yes meeting. Free press. I would um I would teach you about all this, but I'll save that for another tutorial. We're just kinda if you if you just want to um for example, if you're making a country like the United States with uh policy similar to the United States, I would just copy the United States file and work off of that and have all that by default. So I would I'll I'll talk, I'll explain what all this stuff is in another tutorial if anybody wants me to. If anybody's interested, just tell me and I will do it. Won't take long. Ruling party. This is pretty straightforward. Um, again, this is kind of something I should probably fix. Man, yeah. to be honest, I should probably change this to. I'm going to change this to the USA liberal. And simply, what that's going to do is, it that's going to establish that the name of the ruling party of Michigan is going to be the same name of whatever the United States would have. So. You know, if the conservatives win, it'll be called the Republican Party. Liberals win, Democratic Party. This is a, you determine, you would determine, so this is where you would determine the uh, the upper house by default. Naturally, since this is in the Civil War, there is zero fascism. Zero communism. I don't know about socialist and anarcho-liberalism. Pretty sure socialism was somewhere in the Civil War at the time, but probably not in large numbers yet. Uh, this file, again, this would take me a while. I myself have a hard time understanding quite how to do this. This determines by default what soldiers you get right away. Um, In this example, just because I kind of don't care, I guess, I have it set so Michigan gets the same soldiers as California would by default. However, California doesn't exist by default, so that means Michigan would get no soldiers by default. Again, if you want a tutorial on starting units, like right when you start up the game, just tell me, I'll do it. Then you have technologies. This is pretty straightforward. You just do equal one if you want it to be unlocked by default. And here's your list of technologies. Starting consciousness, you would just enter a value and do that. Um, let's see. And this is the 1861 stuff. So this is everything below here is the exact same stuff. This is just for the 1861 starting date. So we are done with this. I apologize if in that last part of this video I sounded kind of draggish. It's actually 6:39 a.m. in the morning. I I am kind of sleep deprived usually, so that might be why I don't sound very energetic and I may be making little sense here and there. Anyways, this part you likely don't need to know, but I'm still going to show it very quickly because I need to do it anyways and others may be interested. Uh, diplomacy, as you might have noticed in the beginning, these aren't independent countries slash states I'm making, they actually belong to the United States. So what I did is we're going to go under puppet states here. And here's a list of substates. Substate means that they're independent, but still a part of the United States, technically. I'm just going to copy that. First is the owner. Second is the uh, substate. So we're going to end, replace Wisconsin with Michigan here. Start date and end date. And that's good. By doing this, you have determined that Michigan will not be independent by default. It will belong to the United States. Uh, another thing that you guys likely don't need to know, but I'm doing anyways, just to show you, is uh, 
How do I make it so Michigan is by default at war with the Confederacy and their states? Uh, I'm going to go into the ACW file I made. I have all my attackers, and I am just going to add MIC as an attacker. And by default, that establishes that right away Michigan is included in the war. All right, now on to the most important part of all. How do you get your country on the map? That, we're going to go in history still. We're going to go in provinces. And here you have, I mean, obviously, wherever country you're um, making, whatever country you're making is going to be possibly in a different continent or region of the world. In this case, obviously, though, USA. And the list I put together before is comprised of five provinces. So we'll start by doing Grand Rapids. 174. And this is why I said the numbers might be better, because if you have the numbers, all you have to do is type in the number, not the name. And the name sometimes is incorrect when you're searching, so, so I do recommend numbers. So here we have, um, well, believe it or not, since I'm working in 1861, I'm working in 1861, I'm actually going to work in here. But in any other situation, you would just work up here, not down there. So first you have owner. This establishes who currently owns the province, which is USA. This determines who controls the USA. If I wanted to make it so, for example, the Confederacy owns Grand Rapids, I would do this. And USA would still own Grand Rapids, but the CSA would control it, like occupy it. We want that to stay. And add core USA. This, if you think of the United Kingdom, the United Kingdom's a one big country in this game, but you can create Scotland. So if this was the United Kingdom and we are working in Scotland, you know, there'd be SCO, and I would determine that Scotland has a claim on those provinces. Trade goods, you can, I guess you can customize what trade goods that province makes, I guess. You know, you could do gold if you want to do a, a historical thing, but I'm pretty sure Grand Rapids does not have gold. And life rating, 35. Um, you can ch I, I don't remember what the benefits of life rating is. You, know, you could change it to like 50 or something. I don't remember what the benefits are, though. Colony. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've ever seen this yet. I'm assuming that... Two represents what level colony is. I'm sure if you did one, that means just colonized. Two probably means close to becoming a state or something. I'll, I'll look into that. I'm imagining, though, if you're making a, your own empire or something, just probably take out the colony part. It's probably not good. But anyways. So for this situation, though, we are actually going to go inside. Since it's a Civil War thing and I am working in the 1861 era, we are going to go inside the 1861 brackets here. We're just going to copy all that up there. And we are going to change, on the date 1861, we're going to change owner to Michigan, controller to Michigan. <coughs> and we are... This doesn't make much sense, but just bear with me. So for one core, one country that's going to have a clam on Grand Rapids is Michigan. The second, USA. The third, I want the CSA, but that's for a personal reason. So that means Grand Rapids is claimed by these three countries. But most importantly is Michigan, obviously. And that's all you gotta do for this. Alright, so after you get all of your provinces changed so that your country owns them, we have one last bit here. Just one last thing. Now we are down in the localization folder. This is where you come up with the name for your country. So we're going to go in localization, and we're going to look for text. We're going to edit that. Now, we are going to, we have to find the names of countries, so let's just do USA semicolon. Nope, no. There. Okay, so let's just take uh, Hawaii. This is where you determine the name of your country, and I'll show you what we're doing. So first copy, I'll just copy Hawaii. And I've actually created my own CSV file here we're going to work in. 
If you want, you could just do this and put down your country here and everything, just your tag and name, but um, I'm actually, just because this is messy, I'm going to open up my own file called states. This is completely empty. So now I'm going to copy this here. And we have, well, I just entered this. So here we have Hawaii. Obviously, though, our country's name is not going to be Hawaii. We want to name it Michigan. So first, the very first thing here, H-A-W, we are going to replace that to M-I-C, semicolon. So this determine, this is this part here, this is saying the name of M-I-C is the first one. The very first option here will always be the English one. So we are going to do Michigan. And that's English. Now, I don't know, um, if you're making a mod for multiple people, I recommend f translating the name for the others. Uh, I don't, from what it looks like, these are all spelt the same. I don't know which languages these are. The one that really matters for you is just this one if you're English. So this alone right here is enough. But now we need one more thing. That's the name of your country. We're going to copy this again. And now we are going to do underscore ADJ. Maybe. I believe like that, right? Hold on. Yep. ADJ, meaning Michigan Adjective. Uh, I think it's now... The reason we do this is because there's going to be times where you make it in a military. For example, if Wisconsin, the adjective for Wisconsin here is Wisconsin Knight. So when you make infantry in Victoria 2, you don't want Wisconsin infantry, you want Wisconsin Knight infantry. So by doing this, we can determine if something is called the Michigan War of Aggression or if it's the uh, Michigander or, well, Let's find out what the adjective is for Michigan. Adjective. Um, Michigan. Michigander. Okay. So we're going to just put Michigander. So you got Michigan and Michigander. Save. And that's it. That's actually everything you got to do. If you check in your game, it should all be ready to go. So as a bonus, I also decided to... Uh, show you one more thing. This, as it appears, this would just be, no matter what government system you have for your country, it would just be called Michigan. But what happens if I insert this? Now, oh, well, hold on. Actually. Okay. Basically, what we'll do is we'll copy this. And we're going to put an underscore here, proletarian dictatorship. Now this would determine what the name of your uh, country is if it was a communist dictatorship. So let's do People's Republic of Michigan. So now if with this... If Michigan became a communist dictatorship for whatever reason, it would, its name would change from Michigan to People's Republic of Michigan. The same could be done for, say, um, yeah, let's, uh, okay, let's do a fascist dictatorship. So if this logic, we could do the, um, Michigander Reich. Sure. So in this situation, if it became a fascist country, it would become Michigan or Reich, not Michigan. Um, one more thing. Although to go with this, I best recommend also making an. I'm not sure if this is necessary. I recommend if you're going to do this, I recommend doing this too. It wouldn't take long. I would probably also put an adjective. This can simply be done by doing this. The country tag, the government, underscore ADJ. 
And uh, to be, uh, I guess we would just keep it Michigander. But I think some might argue that it would be appropriate to do something like, uh, I don't know, maybe we would change it to Soviet. And. I don't know, Nazi. So in this case, if you were a communist nation and you built infantry, it would be Soviet infantry, not Michigander infantry. If you made fascia, if you were fascist and you made infantry, it would be Nazi infantry, not Michigander. Anyways, uh, I personally though do not need this, so. That should be good. Now let's test it out in the game. I apologize, folks. I did make one mistake, and, uh, Make sure you do this if you did find it. The mistake I made that causes the game to crash is in GFX flags. New folder. I finished the flags, but I forgot to take them out of the folder. Make sure you remember this. Because when you're done, you need to I would copy them, go back in flags, and paste them here. If you don't do this, the game's not even gonna work, so make sure you do that. I, I always, that's a common mistake I make, and it'll leave the headaches if you can't figure it out right away, so just remember that. Alright, so at first glance, I would say this looks good. You got the name working, you got the flag working. And let's just see quickly how it looks in-game. Hello, I did want to um, point out that, indeed, as I had predicted, the problem with the ruling party's name was pertaining to this line of code here. This should not be USA Liberal. This, should, indeed, should remain Cal Liberal. I don't know why um, I can't name it USA Liberal for some reason. That destroys everything. Um, but maybe it's because everything else is Cal. I, I don't really know. If I did a little research, I'd figure it out. All I'm gonna say is, um, if you uh, if you did what I did in the video and renamed the ruling party as something else, I'd probably go back and change that. Unless unless it's working fine for me. Um, the problem was that when I launched the game, Michigan's ruling party was uh, it didn't have a name, and by default, it was actually. I uh, I don't know what the problem was. But that was the problem. So anyways, for real time, goodbye.